open just a few weeks, but will the welcome mat be removed from a brand new welcome center on the Long Island Expressway? Taxpayers are asking why the idea of selling locally grown goods at this state-of-the-art rest stop somehow got lost in the red tape. New at 6 tonight, CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reporting from Suffolk County. The $20 million welcome center on Long Island is open for business between exits 51 and 52, selling locally produced fresh and healthy foods and beverages over the counter. The Federal Highway Administration saying, what's going on over your shoulder is illegal. I think that sounds very strange. It may seem strange. Federal law allows vending machines, but not commercial money-making enterprises at rest and recreation centers along its interstates. A local chef restaurant tour featured here in the Tourist Welcome Center video came to see what all the fuss was about. I think we've regulated ourselves to the point of pain at this point, you know, and I think it's silly. The Federal Highway Administration told me it will work with New York to bring the state into compliance. The State Department of Transportation pushed back, saying the center is merely supporting local growers and entrepreneurs. The feds need to update a highway law that is more than 50 years old. Taxpayers say they've had enough. Who okayed this project and why is there a discrepancy now after all this money was paid? And the bickering continues over the controversial I Love New York tourism signs we first told you about. Hundreds went up across the state that the feds say they never okayed and need to come down due to their size and message. Maybe the Federal Highway Administration will take a better look. I think it's a great thing. I really do. And I think that the feds maybe should stay out of this. The future of both the rest stop sales and the I Love New York tourism signs will be addressed when the state DOT travels to Washington this week to plead its case. From the Welcome Center along the LIE, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. It is now unclear how much taxpayers would be liable for the sign removal and the rest stop changes. There's a call for